Well, COVID-19 has affected all of us. If you or a family member hasn't been diagnosed with it, you know someone who has. For sure, and for One Valley family, their daughter's positive diagnosis has led to another health battle. But tonight, those with kind hearts have found a way to help her with the biggest battle of her life. Here's Team 12's Colleen Sakora. This line at the soda shop off Baseline and Ellsworth in the East Valley is wrapped around the parking lot. Valerie Garcia patiently waited to purchase soft drinks, happily knowing that it will help a young teen. Uh, it makes me feel good to uh, help out in some way. I have three kids and one who's special needs. So, you know, in and out of the hospital a lot, I understand, you know, their position and their situation. As parents, it's the hardest thing in the world to watch your child suffer. Erin Ulrich has been sitting bedside at the hospital, double masked with her 14-year-old daughter, Lydia Meckham. Just days ago, Lydia was feeling a lot of pain. Her family thought it might be COVID-related since she tested positive. So he brought her to the hospital that's over by his house, and they transported her over here to Cardin's, and that's where they confirmed that she had leukemia as well as the COVID. Hearing the dreadful news, Lydia's family acted fast. She actually had her first treatment um, two days ago. Today, she's going to have her second round of chemo. And we're going to do our very best to kick this in the butt. We, this girl's very special, and she has a lot to offer. And Lydia couldn't be more gracious for a community behind her. I really appreciate all of, all of it, all of it so much. I would have never imagined that I would have this much support throughout like, the whole thing. Colleen Sakura, 12 News. And Lydia, if you're watching, you've got this. Mm -hmm. The Soda Rush was hoping to raise more than $5,000 for Lydia by 6 o'clock tonight. There are some other ways to help her and her family through a GoFundMe account. Just head to 12 News, the 12 News app for that information. Yeah, she is a fighter, and of course, we wish her all the very best.